stiffness or rotational stiffness is moment required to rotate an end of beam by one radian we are normally given a beam with both ends fixed with e and i for this beam if we want to find rotational stiffness at end a then we replace the fixed support at end a by a pin support now the rotational stiffness at end a will be the moment m a that will produce unit rotation at a so if the angle here is one radian then m a will be equals to k a that is rotational stiffness at end a for the beam a b the carry over factor from a to b for a beam segment is equals to ratio of moment developed at b to moment applied at a here again we are normally given a beam with both ends fixed if we want to find carry over factor from a to b then we replace the fixed support at a by a pin support now we apply a moment ma at a and because of this ma some moment say mb will develop at end b and the carry over factor from a to b will be minus mb upon ma to find stiffness and carry over factor using column analogy method the first step is to draw analogous column the analogous column is a short column with width equals to length of the beam and breadth equals to 1 upon ei and note that breadth will vary if ei for the beam varies second step will be to apply a unit downward load at a on analogous column cross section and this unit downward load corresponds to unit rotation at end a in our beam the moment ma required to produce that unit rotation at end a of the beam will be equals to pressure developed under analogous column at edge a the moment mb developed at end b of our beam will be equals to the pressure pb developed under the analogous column at edge b and the carry over factor from a to b will be equals to minus mb upon ma that will be equals to minus pb upon pa